Welcome back to our channel. I, lied. I don't know how you say channel. We are doing the old wives tales. We're gonna find out if we're having a boy or a girl. Kind of. <laughs> this is kind of like the farmer's almanac way of determining what gender our baby is going to be. We yes. had the anatomy, Scan, ultrasound, test, scan thingy. Whatever. <laughs> we didn't find out, so we don't know. So we this know. is going to be our ultrasound way of telling. And I, some of these are kind of funny because it's like if you pull hair off your head and you drop it, does it fall to the left or does it fall to the right? If it falls to the left, it's a boy. If it falls to the right, it's a baby unicorn. Like, <laughs> Yes, they are kind of like that. They're just kind of fun ways to figure out if you're having a boy or a girl. We don't know if these actually work, but we're going to do them and we're going to have fun with it. And hey, if it ends up being what we revealed the gender to be with doing these, then I guess these work. And if it doesn't, then we probably did something wrong. I just held in a cough. That was impressive. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let it out. Let it out. So today we have like 15 different things here. We're gonna go through them. We're gonna find out yeah. if we're having a boy or a girl. If we have over half one, then that's apparently what we're having. Yeah, so we're excited. Let's find out what we're having. Let's see how accurate these old wives tales are. <laughs> okay, so the first one is mom and dad's intuition. What do we think we're having? See, this one's tough for me because so initially I thought it was a girl right off the bat. And then as you've gotten bigger, <laughs> I feel like it's a boy. And then parts of me are like, well, it's been a complete opposite pregnancy of Edward. Mm -hmm. So then I thought, okay, it's for sure got to be a girl because it's complete opposite. And then now I'm looking at, I'm thinking boy. You're thinking boy? I'm thinking boy. So I thought it was gonna be a girl at the very beginning. Like I was so excited. I'm sure you guys watched that video and I was so certain that it was a girl. But I don't know, as you know, things progressed, I, I, th I think it's a boy. And I don't know if it's just because I want it to be a boy for Edward, but I don't know. I think it's a boy. I think boy. it's a boy. And the next one is how I am carrying the baby. Is the baby all up here? Or is it down here? <laughs> it doesn't go way up there, so I should probably stand for this part. Oh, that's not what that means. But, well, it's not like up here. Like, these, that's a different area of my body, love. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, how Okay, I... never mind, because I... I'll, I'll just be quiet now. Okay, so how am I carrying the baby? Do we think it's carrying low or high? Like, I don't really know. I don't know, know what... Like, can we, can we tell on the camera, like... Hold on. I just don't know. I'd almost say kind of high. You would say high? Yeah, because some people, it's like it's way down here, you know? Okay. I think I'll agree with you. I'm going to go high. Though I, I do feel like with Edward, it was much higher. But I'm going to consider this high. All right. So I guess we're going to go with high. That means that's one for girl. Do you think that I am glowing or do you think that I have acne? You're always glowing. Aw. Are you serious? I think you're glowing. Oh, baby. The next one I find to be quite interesting. It's heart rate. So when we go to the doctor... No, no, no. You skipped. It's body temp. Oh. Yeah. My bad. Oh. I, I jumped the gun on this so one. So this one I need you to kind of like keep me in check with because I don't, I don't really know. Like I feel like I can be in between. So have I been complaining of being hot or cold most of this pregnancy? Like, I, I, I guess I haven't really yeah. paid much attention to you saying I'm hot or I'm cold. It, You've just been kind of... I feel like I've been neutral. Yeah. So should we circle both hot and cold? Well, it can't be both. I haven't been super hot and I haven't been super cold. I've been like content. Should we just rock, paper, scissors this one? No, I'm going to say you're probably on the cooler end because you've been pregnant all summer. That's true. And, and I haven't you didn't complain once of being hot during the summertime. So I'd say that you were cooler. So I'd go with cooler. Okay. We'll, we'll go with cold. Now for the one that I skipped ahead on. Baby's heart rate. The heart rate. Very yes. interesting because when we go to the doctor and they put the little, it's not an ultrasound, but it the monitors the baby's she, heart rate. It's just a little it's stick. A sound thing. And then yeah. you hear it go boom, 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 boom. That's I pay really attention cute. to that every time. But Nava's like, I <laughs> I never pay attention to what they say. I don't. I really don't. That's why it's so really good that you have I have monitored this one. You have. And. Edward's heart rate was like 150, 155 when he was in the womb. And this baby's wow. has been like 145, 148, 140. Below 140 or above 140? Like the uh, majority be, of the pregnancy. We've only had one under 140. So are we going to go with 
Below 140 or above 140? Above 140. Oh, the second one for girl. My cravings, salty or sweet. This one is like, a, it's so obvious. It is sweet. sweet. It's sweet. I have been Cole, craving can sweets. I have cereal? Can I have cereal? <laughs> Cole, can I have cereal? Okay. I'm not a participant in cereal. <laughs> And so... Cole really does not want me eating cereal. I'm not a fan. He does not want me eating cereal. He's not a fan of it. He's like, it's just pure sugar. And I'm always like, please let me have a bowl of cereal. And then they will be like, Cole, limit me on cookies. I can only have two today. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I, I'll, I'll say something. And then it never <laughs> fails. My mom's over. My sister's over. Nava's already had two cookies. She's probably <laughs> snuck two more off that I didn't know about. I probably And then have. she comes out with two more. And I'm like, Nava, no cookies. And then my mom and sister, <laughs> Nava can have whatever she wants. I'm like, I'm, I'm just going what Nava asked me to tell her to do. Yeah, I've definitely been on the sweet kick this time around. With Edward, I did not crave sweets or salty food, but I most definitely do not crave sweets. And this time around... You had some sweets with Edward. You Well, yeah, because everyone them. has some, some, you know, some of a, you know, moderation, you know, but... Everyone? <laughs> But anyways, no, this time it has definitely been sweets. It's bad. Like, I've been trying to keep myself together, but I, I want that cupcake, and I want that cookie, and I want everything else in between. How do they teach kids That's to not, read this? <laughs> Let me get it. <laughs> this is not a Mayan calendar. This is, this this is, is literally just the months across the top, and it aged down the side. Where well, is this, this is what I was told the Mayan calendar is, so we're going Where is this, this calendar one. at all? It's right here. It's the Mayan calendar. Okay, so apparently if it's if the numbers are even and odd, it is a boy. But if they're both even or odd, what then it's a girl. What month was the baby conceived in? So my age is 25. Okay. And then the month is March. So we're looking at... I don't get this one. This one's confusing. Do you get this one? So I'm 25 and they're saying March. So what does that mean? That's even what I'm saying. I don't odd. think this is a real calendar. Let's skip this one. Fake Mayan calendar. <laughs> We're not doing it. Too confusing. The Mayan calendar got us. We're scratching that one off. All right. Morning sickness. Did we have morning sickness? No. Or did we not? No. How do you know? We didn't. I was fine. <laughs> no, I actually did not have morning sickness this time around. With it was Edward, awesome. Six times a day for six months. With my first son, yes. Baby two. Baby two. We've been six perfect. Six times total. It's been great. Okay, this is the one I'm actually looking forward to. It's the ring test one. The ring the test? The ring test one. Ooh, this one okay. sounds kind of scary. So we have a ring on a string. By the way, the string came from the edge of our carpet <laughs> fringe because we couldn't find a string. Don't tell them that. Hey, it works. We're MacGyvering it. <laughs> when we lift it up, if it goes in a circle, it's a boy. But if it like goes back and forth, then it's a girl. And you can't like do anything to like get it to move in a certain way. So you literally just grab it and pick it up. So when you pick it up, you better not have any swing to it no, at all. No, don't do any swing, Cole. Well, it's hanging perfectly straight down. <laughs> Woo! I don't think you're doing it right. How can I do this wrong? You did not give me clear instructions. <laughs> Let me try it. Let me try it. No, you're doing that on purpose. Stop it. You grab it and pull it up and then just let it go and then whatever it does. Okay, ready? Yep. That's circle. That's a circle. That's a circle, but I don't know if we did it right. Oh, don't move it. Right. <laughs> Big circle. Yep, this is for sure a boy. <laughs> we all know what Cole's preference is. Look at this. They're not even moving my hand. And it's just getting bigger and bigger. It's a circle. It's a circle. Dad's weight, so... If you've stayed the same this pregnancy, it's a boy, and if it's if you've gained well, weight, it's a girl. I was bulking during this pregnancy intentionally. It's true. So I have gained weight, you but have. it was intentional. But I'm gonna say you gained weight, so. Yeah, I guess you gotta you go with weight. the rule of technicality. Yeah, you gained weight. Yeah. Cool. Swollen ankles. Do I have swollen ankles and legs? Jeez. Oh, what are you saying? Oh, jeez, about. I'll just go straight from your thigh to your ankle. Stop! That's no, you have true. no, you have no swelling at all. The only if I do right now, it's because my I was sitting on my feet this whole video. When did you last wash your feet? You're mean to me. <laughs> That's not true. My feet do not stink. You big liar. Why are you always trying to make fun of me online? Oh, I'm just trying to focus on my breathing. I actually do smell something. Do they stink? Is it me? I think I forgot to brush my teeth this morning. <laughs> Are my legs and feet? No, not so. swollen at all. 
Clumsiness! You've been better with this one. So, I have not been clumsy? Mm-mm. Okay, the answer is no. Mavis, like, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not arguing that. Headaches? I've had a few, but I mean... We nipped the headache thing in the bud because now when Ava says I have a headache, I always ask her, have you drank water? No, you ask, have you had any salt? And salt. Mm -hmm. it, I'm, I'm telling you, you get yeah. a teaspoon of salt, fill it like a quarter full, just chuck that salt in your mouth, take a swig of water with it quick, it tastes bad for a second, mm -hmm. but then any cramp, any headache, it's true. gone. It's true. Maybe not any headache for anybody, but for the headaches I've experienced, it yeah. cramps for sure. It works. It really does. Ask work. Neva's mom, and she is the queen <laughs> of Mexican wife tales. <laughs> no headaches. Pea color. Has my pea been pale or has it been bright? <laughs> Neither. It's been dark. <laughs> That's what it means. Like, it smells really bad. <laughs> Quit it. It's like nuclear fissile That's waste. That's not what it's asking. It's just asking the color. Don't talk about the smell. Yeah, how can you not? Babe, you're embarrassing me. Okay, the darkest color that's on there, I would call bright and pale both like kind of a clear color. Okay, is, just tell me, is it bright or pale? Because I'm going to say I think it's bright yellow. Yeah, I'd go bright. Bright yellow or yeah, pale it's a, it's yellow? Yeah, it's bright dark. <laughs> It's bright. <laughs> Which side do I sleep on more? The left side or the right side? When you wake up in the morning, because you wake up before me, what side am I sleeping on? Am I on this side or am I on this side? Mm. So usually I'm addressing Edward <laughs> when we wake up, because some point at 5.30 in the morning, Neva got up and went and got him. He's usually either headbutting me with the top of his head, <laughs> Or he's got his feet right touching my head. He's always got to be touching something with his body he when he's asleep. He loves touching us. So I'm usually looking at him, and you cover up your entire body <laughs> other than your face. I do so not. So sometimes it's kind of even hard to tell where you are. <laughs> I'm going to have to say you're facing your left more. Because I fall asleep on my right side, and that's just how couples sleep. You always face okay. away from yeah, each other. Yeah, I would say I'm on the left side too. Yeah. All right. My mood. You've been happy. You haven't been moody at all. <laughs> I was trying to make a moody face there for a second. <laughs> We're just going right with the old happy. happy. What about heartburn? Oh, I've had heartburn. I'm holding this marker over here because it it's is stinks. creating some fumes. It's creating some really bad Take fumes. that, box elder bugs. Um, yes, I've had heartburn. Heartburn, heartburn, heartburn all the way. Uh, Put a yes on that. Heartburn means a lot of hair, though, because at water, though, you had a lot with him. Yeah. I did. Hair and nails. I'm not sure what the hair and nails is supposed to represent. <laughs> Do you have hair and nails? No. Yes. It's like, okay, it has... then it's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Does my hair look healthy? Do my nails look healthy? Or do they look dry? No, they look, I mean, they're not wet. Yeah, I'm gonna say like they're healthy. What is it compared to mine? Yours are healthy too. Okay. And then my hair, do you think my hair is healthy or dry? I say it looks healthy. Healthiest it's ever been, it's looking good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well then healthy, circle that healthy. Healthy. Pregnancy brain, have I had pregnancy brain this time around? I'm not judging this one I myself. don't really think so. Yeah, I wouldn't say so. No, you've been pretty clear brained. I would agree. But we've also got a reverse osmosis water purifier and that helps with brain fog. So our <laughs> variables are not the same. <laughs> I still drink from a water bottle though. Yeah, but how was this? Purified, processed by reverse osmosis <laughs> or distillation. Those are two completely different things. So why, what? okay. I don't have pregnancy brain this time okay. around. No pregnancy brain. This one's gonna be hard because I really don't know. Do I have a narrow and pointy bump or do I have a wide bump? I'm gonna go narrow and pointy because it narrows up at the end. The belly button also helps like give it that pointy yeah, look. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's for sure pointy. Narrow though. and pointy. <laughs> okay, the last test, the key test. Do you know what the key test is called? I don't. I'm oh. holding this up here. It's like a chimney. The fumes go up. Yeah, the fumes are really bad on that marker. You've never done this? Oh, no. All right, let's do it. It's not going near my belly button, is it? Yes. Hey, remember, um, the, the, the marker bleeds, so don't. It's not gonna bleed once it's on the paper. Apparently, you've never been left-handed in your whole life because whenever I write, my hand always gets ink on it or pencil. All right, cool. There's the key. Okay. Pick it up. For real? Who picks up a key like that? You are very descriptive. <laughs> Never seen someone pick up a key like that. Apparently, like if you picked it up from the round part, it's a boy, and if you picked it up from the narrow part, it's a girl. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen someone pick up a key like that from the narrow part. Wow. Well, to be fair, when it was laying on the table, it was this way, <laughs> and I'm left-handed, and you said pick up the key, and my hand was right here, so I just went path of least resistance. <laughs> and just picked it up like so. Oh, there you go. We have the results! 
I have not counted these up yet, but it looks pretty like half and half. So like it's going to be a close one. All right, let's see what we got. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten for a boy. Ten for a boy. And? Ten for a girl. Are you serious? <laughs> nuh -uh. How did we do that? It's because no, of this have. mind calendar thingy. <laughs> It it messed us up. Breaker. If we went off the mind calendar that said girl, then we'd be at 1110. But that was not the mind calendar, so I don't trust it. I guess we're never going to find out if we're having a boy or girl until we pop. Did you count right? So if you have 20 options, each with a 50-50 probability, what would be the likelihood of that happening? Is that like one in... Should we just do the mind calendar one? No, because it's not the mind calendar. We could flip a coin. Let's flip a coin. <laughs> what else do we do? And you can't look. You can't look to see what side we start on. Like, you got to mix up the coin and keep it closed in your hand and then flip it. Okay. We have a regular coin. We have George Washington on this side and then we have Lady Liberty herself on this side. Eagle is girl. George Washington is boy. Ready? Okay. Are we having a boy or a girl? Let's look at the same. We're having a girl! Lady Liberty! Supposedly. We're having a girl! Aren't you excited? Quit flipping the coin! We're still having a girl! Woo! We're having a girl! Give me a girl, Dad! Babe, we're clearly having a girl! Let's go! Stop flipping the coin. We're having a girl. Hold on, gotta we're do having, one more. We're having a girl. We've done four. I just need to do one more flip. You're gonna confuse us if that's a heads. <laughs> If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button and help us get to 80,000 subscribers.